I'm here today to talk about two issues, the FY22 tax rate and personal exemptions. The first thing I'd like to talk about is the tax rate for fiscal year 2022. On November 3rd, the select board held a classification hearing at which the Board of Assessors recommended adopting a split rate. The selectmen continued the hearing until November 17th. They haven't decided whether to have a split rate or a single rate. If they vote to adopt a single tax rate for fiscal 22, the average tax bill is going to be going up $410. Please contact the selectmen's office and let your opinion be known on this by letter, email, or phone call, or show up at the meeting on November 17th via Zoom to let your opinion be heard whether you want a single rate or a split rate for fiscal 22. The second reason is to discuss personal exemptions. And there's three exemptions that I'd like to discuss today real briefly. The first one is the veterans exemption. The veterans exemption is a $400 exemption. And in order to qualify, you must own the property on July 1st, 2021. You must also have either a 10% service-connected disability, or have a Purple Heart, or be a Gold Star parent. The second exemption is the blind exemption. And in order to qualify for that, you also have to own a property on July 1st, 2021. And you must have a letter from the Commission for the Blind certifying a condition of legal blindness. The last exemption I'd like to talk about is Clause 17D. Clause 17D was adopted at town meeting three or four years ago. And since then, we've only had one applicant for this exemption. It's a $175 exemption. And in order to qualify, you need to own and occupy the property on July 1st, 2021. You either have to be 70 years of age as of that date or be a surviving spouse and you must meet a financial net asset limit of $40,000. And assets do not include the home or the property that the home sits on, but it includes cash, stocks, bonds, CDs, automobiles, and other real estate. If you have any questions about this, these exemptions, you can contact our office at 413-586-6320, and we'd be happy to answer any questions. I will also be leaving a packet of 17D information with the council, at the Council on Aging. If you're in the building, you can stop in and just pick one up. Thank you.